You, how you doing? It's your friend and realtor, Travi Houses. Good morning. Listen, do me a favor, all right? Get out there today, crush souls, and slay some dragons, baby. <laughs> Might be my favorite saying. Write it down. That's a wink at Uncle Nick. All right, so I've been continuing to battle one day at a time. Being in real estate is full of ups and downs. And I'm learning a lot about myself in the process by dealing with and handling challenges. Every challenge is something new to overcome and the challenges are honestly what will make becoming a successful real estate professional so rewarding. In all essence, we as agents are our own small business, our own entity. For the first time, I have to think about things like marketing, budgets, branding, and generating leads all while trying to pay the bills. Generating leads, then following up with those leads, systems of organization are business skills that take practice. They don't come overnight. They, they require a lot of patience. No one is harder on me than me. All right, so my focus for this video is advising those who are looking to sell, all right? People oftentimes wonder, when's the best time to sell your house? The perception out there is that springtime going into summer is without a doubt the best time to sell your house. In fact, many sellers wait until springtime to put their houses on the market. Sellers will fight their agents and refuse to sign a listing agreement, choosing instead to hold off until around April or May. This is not wrong, all right? But I challenge you to hear me out. There is oftentimes a good found in what I like to call unpopular situations. You just have to look. By listing in the spring, listing during a popular time, this means more competition. Here's a fact. The most listings come to market between April and June, all right? This will give potential buyers more choices and alternatives aside from your home. You may disagree, but I find the sweet spot to sell your house is from November through February because supply is really low. The same thing can honestly be said about a realtor who boasts about their 10 or 20 years experience. All right, you probably heard that. What's to say that agent hasn't just survived for that long, right? They could be carried financially by their spouse who has a salary job and real estate is more of just a hobby. Just because you've been in real estate for years doesn't make you an expert or necessarily good at your job. I'd go as far to say that agents who lack experience are better than some seasoned veterans because we're more committed, more passionate, definitely more tech savvy, and hungrier out of necessity to make a living. I put zero weight into anyone's opinion about me because I know exactly who I am. Don't follow the crowd, all right? It's never a bad time to buy or sell. I'm today's agent, changing the way real estate is done. Have a good day, guys.